What is up all future vlogging superstars? So good to have you all here. My name is Tuom Syriax and today we are looking on how to make your awesome Sony a6000 fully vlog ready. It is an amazing camera for beginners and it can be used for vlogging. It's light, it's cheap and it's awesome. However, there are two big problems with this particular model. First, the camera does not have the flip up or flip out screen as the newer model A6100. This means you're not able to see yourself. Second issue, A6000 does not have the microphone input port. That means you are not able to plug in an external shotgun microphone. But don't worry, everything is not that bad. So in this video, let me show you what you can do to see yourself, what are the most budget ways to get good audio, and is it worth the effort and investment, or should you just rather upgrade to Sony A6100? Before we get started, I want you to know there are several options on how you can go about this. So, in this video, we will look at a few options that I think are worth mentioning. If you have found a better alternative, please let everyone know about it in the comment section down below. Okay, so how do we solve the problem number one, not being able to see yourself? Well, you have two options. One, you just accept that you are not able to see yourself, but I mean, come on, it's not a real solution, right? Option number two, the real solution is to get this thing. It's from a brand called Yuyu Rig. They make all kinds of vlogging gear. It is a vlog selfie flip screen or rather a simple mirror. When attached to the hot shoe of your camera, all you need to do is flip your screen in 90 degree angle, remove the eyepiece and there you go. Now you can see yourself. And I must admit that it works surprisingly well. This device is extremely light, also kind of compact and I paid less than 10 bucks for it. So I would say it's totally worth the money. Only downside is that you see everything mirrored and it looks a bit funny on the camera. Okay, now the solution for problem number two, how to get the external microphone to record if we don't have a microphone port on Sony A6000. Two options again, let's start with the most budget one. Get a phone holder that has a cold shoe mount. These are typically universal, so will fit basically any phone. Also, they are very cheap, about $6. Why do you need a phone, you might ask? Well, since you don't have a microphone port in your camera, you can use your phone as a recorder. I'm not sure if the Rode Video Micro has the proper cable, but I use the Movo VXR10 shotgun mic and it came with two cables, specifically uh, one for smartphone. All you need is the adapter from USB-C to 3.5 mm audio jack and you're good to go. Going back to the little mirror device, the cool thing about it is that it has three cold shoe mounts, one on each side and also one on top so you are able to connect several devices at the same time. The ideal vlogging setup would consist of a microphone, a recorder and a light. But as I said previously, you put there what you want or need. Alternatively, you can swap the phone with an external recorder. I bought this um, Zoom H1 million years ago and it's just so worth it as I can mount it on the camera, on the microphone stand or have it in my pocket when I'm using it with a lavalier microphone just like in situation like this. If you have checked other videos here on YouTube on how to improve the sound on Sony A6000, I bet you have seen people recommending the Sony ECM GZ1M shotgun mic. Interestingly, you do not need to connect it using the microphone port as the audio signal is transferred to the camera through the hot shoe mount which is really cool and I bet it works for most people. However, there are two problems. One, it is a bit on the pricey side, but hey, things cost money, right? Second, and this could be a deal breaker for, for some, when you connect it on camera with hot shoe, there is no way for you to use this flip mirror to see yourself or uh, to connect any other accessories for that matter, unless you use a rig. And no, the microphone will not work if you put it on top of the mirror because the mirror only has cold shoes, meaning they do not transmit signal. It's only this guy right here that is able to transmit the signal. When it comes to price, a shotgun mic plus phone as a recorder is going to be cheaper option than this Sony microphone. 
I would however recommend getting the Zoom H1 external recorder. You can search for pre-owned or open box, plus a shotgun mic, plus a lavalier mic, and you will end up with roughly the same value as the Sony microphone. This setup will definitely give you more clutter on your camera and is undoubtedly a downside. But on the other hand, you will have way more flexibility on how to use uh, the audio gear. Plus, you'll also be able to use uh, the flip mirror. And lastly, is it even worth searching for these things, buying these flip mirrors, sound recorders and whatnot? Isn't it easier to just buy the Sony A6100? If you already own the A6000, I would do as I did, just buy these few extra things and you're good to go. If you think of either buying A6000 or 6100, well, Sony A6000 came out in 2014 and as mentioned previously, does not have the audio jack nor the flip screen. 6100 came out in 2019 and is way more improved than the previous model. I'm not gonna go into the details what has changed, but for this video, the main two things are great improvement. The flip up screen, which you can conveniently use for vlogging, and the microphone port, so uh, you record with your shotgun mic. The price difference between these two is roughly 300 bucks. Is it worth it? Well, it really depends. If your main goal of buying this camera is for vlogging, then I would say yes, it is worth it. You can also check out the Sony ZV-1. But if your main goal is photos and you shoot some videos on and occasionally vlog, maybe it's worth saving those $300 and putting them towards a lens. It also really depends on your budget. Of course, it's always more convenient to pay more and get all the extras, but sometimes that is just simply out of reach and we need to find alternatives. Hopefully, this one is one of them. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for your time watching it. If you feel like I didn't waste your time, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It does make a lot of difference for me. I'll see you next video. Cheers.